Hello. We're back on our bullshit again. Um, today we're going to do Casimir's Arena 8 on Risky Team. And then after that we'll have fun with Abandoned Mine. I did enjoy that last CC, so I'm sure we'll have fun with it again. In the meantime, <clears throat> first of all, these are the contracts I'm doing for Risk 18. I decided not to buff these guys because they're annoying. These guys are buffed and I plan to just let them leak the same way I let the uh, jail men leak in last yesterday's daily. Uh, attack down... Oh, there's attack up. Attack up for the enemies, HP up for the enemies. Uh, defense down for me, TP down for me. Six ops, right side can't play shit on it. Um, I, I was kind of... Oh, like I was kind of swaying between these three. But I need medics. Like, I was thinking of just doing, like, Gumu and Adenko skill 1 for healing, um, but no, I definitely need definitely need healers. I thought maybe to take this one and use defenders, but... Actually, why don't I take this one? Uh, I decided that it didn't really matter, because which one of these I take. Because either way... Like, if I use a defender, I'm not going to be doing any damage, because defenders don't do damage. But I could take this one since I'm not really using a supporter either. I guess it doesn't matter which one I take. Obviously I don't take this because I want to let those dudes leak. Um, this one is... makes me weaker, hug stronger, enemy stronger with their attack speed. But yeah, it doesn't really matter which one I take here. Because my team is pretty much optimized... well, not optimized, but like... I shoved as much damage onto it as I could. So it doesn't really so I'm not using either of these classes, uh, defenders or supporters, so I guess I'll just put this one on because whatever. It doesn't really matter. This is the team I'm using. Uh, lots of healers, as you can see, since I need them. Um, Estelle, Cutter, these two are gonna be our right lane heroes. Um, and Cutter is probably going to kill the Archer. Uh, Moose, Areen are our left lane bodyguards, along with Mur and Conviction as support. Pinecone is going to be holding down the crabs by herself. Tage is for killing the Knight as well as Areen and Conviction, and maybe not Conviction, but Areen will be killing that Knight as well if I can get the rotation correct. So Tage, Arin, um... I feel like I'm missing a character, but... I feel like I might need like Gravel or something. Ah, I've got Myrtle. She'll be right, let's just go. Let's just jump into it. Permanent map, Risk 18. Here we go. I've actually been working on this for the past, like... hour. Um... And I... Yeah, I'm kind of... it's... I haven't made it to the knights yet. Um, but I figured why sit here by myself doing this for an hour when I can just chuck on the old streamerino and make it a show. Chat while doing it, get some fee, get some help, get some support if I need it. Probably won't ask for help though, but you know. It's nice to have people cheer you on. So yep, pinecone first. Very simple, shot, bang, shot. Very simple. That's the entire lane for that. Now we need a still next, shot, skill, shot. Very simple. Here comes a still. The hardest part I felt was um, juggling buffs and deployment in order for Pinecone to not get debuffed. But to be fair, I haven't actually finished it yet, so 
and we'll see which one is actually the hardest part. The hardest part will probably be killing the dude with the sword at the end. Okay, let's get another Myrtle going. And put down the healing. Next I want Gavial for, he for healing Estelle. So ideally I want to use Myrtle one more time. And then retreat for her for Irene. I might want to use her... I'm kind of torn up between using her another time or just letting her go away. If I use her one more time, it becomes really difficult. Well, let's see if we can't greet out. I need to activate Estelle now to attract the buff from this dude, or debuff rather. Probably retreat you, then retreat you. Then we want to put Conviction down. Okay, this one is gonna be some tight inputs. Bang, bang. Let's wait for the debuff. Okay, there it is. Treat you. Treat you. Put down Irene. Put Kata up here. Okay, that was nice. Uh, and then s we'll wait for this guy to disappear and then put Susuru down. Okay, there he goes. Now I need to figure out what I want to do here. So, you currently have 750 attack. And you have 1200 attack. So, this guy gives 750. Okay. So Moosh should get debuffed here, which I don't know if I want that or not. So Moosh gets debuffed, and then we'll activate Irene. So this gives me 713, and she's on 750. So we'll also activate this, because this gives her 900 attack. So she'll get debuffed next, instead of Moosh. Instead of um, Pinecone, rather. Also, probably be treating both of these units. Don't know why I didn't do that sooner. And then, one weapon stock here. Okay. Let's hold off on doing that. Ah, uh, okay, they've leaked. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of rough. I need to retreat Irene and um what their whatever their face is, what's the name? Moose. I need to retreat Moose and Irene pretty much as soon as I can as soon as that those two enemies that are on top of them die. Um and then I need to leave Mur up until she gets debuffed, then retreat her. That way the knight just runs through without stopping. The problem comes after that. It's um dealing with the other enemies that come afterwards is the problem. I feel like Beans no Beanstalk won't be able to hold it. I might need to bring in a warrior. Does anyone have any four stars up for grab? Probably not any of these characters. Maybe, maybe um, a specialist, maybe. I mean, there's, there's a J, there's a J with skill 1. A J with skill 1 might work, but I'm worried about the DP cost. 
Let's see if we can't find like an Utage or something. I mean, I already have Utage, so we can't actually bring Utage. Let's see if we can find someone, like a two block or something. I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, this is looking rough. I don't think a defender will help. Because I think that any defender I pick is not going to hold the enemies there long enough. A Vanguard could work if it was like Scavenger or something. Vigna? Probably. Maybe Vigna would work. Then again, I might not need Vigna. I might be able to just put Beanstalk down and have that work if I uh, if my stuff is clean enough. Because um, the reason why they leaked that time is because uh, the dude attacked Beanstalk's sprout little crab when they uh, weren't supposed to. But at least Vigna will make me have like a better sense of security, since I can fall back on her if I need her. Shot, skill, shot, kill those crabs. Very nice. Sorry, Beanstalk, don't look. Don't look at this. You stay there in that lane, you don't come over here, don't look over here. You won't like what you see. Okay, use Pinsok a second time, then retreat and bring out Moose. Oh, the reason why these people stay alive is because of the the guard, the guard tile. That's why Beanstalk doesn't immediately die. That makes sense. Okay. Or let's get some more Myrtle skills going. Oh, I need Gavial here. He's still alive. Okay, give me another Myrtle, please. I might be able to get one more Myrtle off, I think. Yeah, I should be able to get one more off. I need to activate Estelle now. Okay, you're dead. And I want to put Conviction down here. Wait for your shot. And just do this. Need the Myrtle. Shoot this. Okay, wait for the debuff to go on Conviction. There it is, now I can activate this. Retreat you for Arin. I might need to activate that. I do, I definitely do need to activate it, I'm just not sure. I'll activate it now. Okay, good. Kata goes up. I'm going this. Give me a healer, please. Almost used that too many times. Yeah, Irene's skill is up in time, which is what I need it for. So now we just activate this. So the first debuff should go on... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we lost. Or did we? We shouldn't have lost yet. Treat metal. Treat you. Retreat, you. Let's just use Susudo's skill to keep you alive. And get um, Beanstalk and her Beanstalks out. Let's 
And then Susuro gets debuffed. That's really good. Okay, we got Vigna there, in case we need it. Okay, now we can wait for this guy to leave. And then we can get a Estelle down. Like this. Okay, let me think here. Beanstalk, we can probably retreat. Um, yeah, probably retreat Beanstalk now. Because Vigna's doing fine on her own there. I don't know how many enemies are here. I think there's only two. Yeah, there's only two. Pause the game. Um, let me unpause the game. Let me pause the game again. I need to think about what I'm going to do here. Quite difficult. It's quite a thought process that has to go on. First things first, I need to retreat to you. Okay, how do I kill this thing? Um. So Arena's up in 18 seconds. He'll be useful. How long until Mur? How long until Mur? 19 seconds till Mur. Okay, I have 59 DP. So 24 plus 24 is 48, plus 12 is 60. So I should be able to put down Gaviel as well. I would like to put down Conviction. I guess Conviction is like my backup. I don't really have the DP for Conviction. Okay, healer. Do I need a healer though? I'll put a healer down anyway. No, I shouldn't. Or should I? I will. Okay, you're up, going up, so let's do this, this. Okay, you instantly died, that's cool. Let's do this. Okay, let's wait for both of these guys to walk in range. And do this. Okay, you're dead. I don't know if that's going to make it. Come on, Conviction, wake up! Ah, damn. Okay, so that guy... I'm going to need... Oh, cool. Disconnected. Nice. That's what I like to see. It's quite a conundrum. I think if I hadn't have used Vigna there, it would have gone better for me. Either Vigna or Beanstalk, whichever one, if I had not have used them. I might have been able to do that. Um, so I need Moose. could try retreating Arene earlier. Let me have a look at my team. I could I could bring like a frost leaf. That might well, bit that might be good. May might be good for the stun. So yeah, like May or May, May or Frostleaf maybe. So a 40% chance to bind, and yours is a 30% chance to stun. So yeah, Frostleaf would be better. So if I can get a Auto Otage, 
or a supporter myrtle or something. Yep, there's a supporter myrtle there. So let's bring Frost Leaf. And then we can take. Is this supporter myrtle? Is this the right myrtle? Like the right skill for myrtle? I'm just gonna have a check see. Yeah, it looks right. Actually, I think I lose now. Because this myrtle is only level. 50. I'm, oh, I guess I'll have to put Beanstalk down first, then. Otherwise, their model is going to die. Hopefully, this doesn't mess with my TP generation too much. Oh, I have the feeling that it will. There comes the crabs. Okay, I still got enough for pinecone, that's good. Two shot. I might be able to get three beanstalk skills. Now that I've put her down first. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's put Kaviel down. Hey, one more Gaviel. I'm not one more Beanstalk skill, rather. There we go. Away you go. Put down Moose. Ow. Oh, okay. My hand just did some weird spasm. Um, now I just need to bring in uh, Burst Heal is very useful here. Uh, and my hand feels all weird. Uh, we'll go for one more Myrtle. Should be able to. Oh, not yet. There it is. Okay. One. Bang. Then I want to bring in a ring here. I want to activate it still. Okay, there's the debuff. Treat Gavial. Treat. You put down conviction. Yep. Let's wait for the second shot and then shoot. Okay, wait for the debuff. As soon as it goes on, I'm retreating conviction so that I can have a backup as soon as possible. Here it comes. Okay, goodbye. Then activate the other ability. Put down Cutter. And as soon as he disappears, up you go. Okay, do this. Do that. Okay, once this guy gets in range, activate Arena. Um, right, so the first debuff goes on Moose, which is what I like to see. I kind of, I want the second buff to go, I want, I want the second debuff to go on to Susudo. So you're dead, so retreat Arin. Retreat Ma. Okay, now retreat you. Then I want to activate Susudo, Kata. He's still here. Then when he's on that second tile, I want to put my crab down. Okay, there's the debuff on Susuru. That's what I like to see. Let's put uh, Myrtle down. 
and wait for this guy to disappear. Okay, there he goes. Let's put down Frostleaf. We'll wait for this thing to die. Okay, we'll treat you. Um. Okay. So arena's another 20 seconds. How do I want to do this? Mm. Okay, I guess I want Yavial. Keep the model up. Um, for now. No, I need to retreat her. Um, how do I do this? Um, I guess I'll put Utage on him like this. Okay, she instantly dies. And then everyone else dies. And then everyone else dies. Very good. So I think at the end there, I want to put Frostleaf on the very back tile. Frostleaf on the very back tile. And then... And then what? Maybe I don't want Frostleaf at all. Maybe I do want Frostleaf at all. Maybe I want Frostleaf... Yeah, actually... Let's put skill 1 on Frostleaf. Oh, no, skill 2 is fine. Skill... No, I actually... No, skill 1 is better. No, skill 2 is better. So we'll put Frostleaf where we would usually have Arene. Or maybe we shouldn't do that because I need the Arts damage. No, Moose is doing Arts damage. Um... That way we can just put Arene down. Or the uh, other guy when he... Oh, I forgot to bring a supporter model. I need to retreat. Let me think about this some more. I could just put Utagi down in front of him as soon as he spawns. That way she'd get maximum amount of damage, she'd heal, he'd hit her, and she'd probably live the first hit. Maybe. And if I leave Beanstalk up as well, that's extra damage from Beanstalk, then I can retreat both of them. And then... Frostleaf down there somewhere. I forgot to bring a support of Myrtle again. Honestly, I wish I could bring Gravel. But I kind of can't. I guess I could if I got rid of Frostleaf. I guess I don't really need Frostleaf. I don't think I do, at least. I think I have time before I need Frostleaf. Before I need, um, before, this, before the archer comes in, I think I have time. 
So let me bring gravel instead. And try it like this. I want to try doing this without putting any healers down. So that way I can have 3 DPS over on the left and I won't have to worry about it. I forgot to bring a supporter Myrtle again. That's three times. I'm so used to not using supporters that I just can't get the hang of it. Okay, this time. Moitor, come here, you. Okay. I never realized just how much defense that tile gives you. It's crazy. Okay, let's fast forward a bit because I'm impatient. We go. One, two, bang. Next, I want Estelle. It's better to do one attack than the skill than one attack because it's faster than waiting for her to recover to cancel the end leg from the first attack with the skill. Faster than waiting for um two attacks. Okay, I should be able to get one more Beanstalk skill out. Then we'll bring in Moose, and I guess Murr, since we don't actually need Gavi Alpha a bit. What did I say I was going to do? Alright, Utage like here, when he comes out. Then... We put Conviction on this tile as well, so at the same time-ish. Um, that way there'll be time for... her to unstun herself. When he gets close, put get Gravel down. When we have the opportunity, we'll put Irene down, probably here. Um, and then maybe stall with uh, Myrtle if possible. And then, depending on like how much DP we have, obviously. Let's just play this out the way I have it. Okay, another Myrtle, thank you. Should probably retreat her after this, but I might get greedy. I shouldn't need to get greedy since Beanstalk is there and exists. Okay, activate this. I do need to retreat her now because. I need a rain skill. I retreat before he stops and attacks. Retreat you as well. I need to put conviction down. I should have time to kill this crab before he does his debuff. Okay, here comes the debuff. Then activate this. Cut her down. Activate this. Make room to disappear. Ok, 
Okay. So I can probably retreat this, but I'm not going to. Okay, activate this. The first debuff should go on to Moose. There it goes. Okay, retreat Moose, retreat Marine, activate Susudo, retreat you. Um, put Beanstalk down about now. Then put uh, Stalk down. Okay, debuff goes on Susudo like I want. I could put Myrtle down and get more DP. And I'm going to do that. Okay, get ready to put um, it's a face down. Is this guy going to get past? He will get past. So I just want to throw gravel on top of him. Kill, please. Thank you, Tage, go here. Conviction. Probably a bad idea, but. Maybe it'll be fun. No, it won't. Let's put a stell down. Treat you. You down here. Okay. It's gonna start walking up. So we'll put you here. Get the uh, slam from that. Treat. Now there's one, two. I think there's one more crab. I'm hoping that gravel comes back up, but it doesn't look like she's going to. Nope. And the guy with the thing comes out as well. That's bad. Maybe I'll have to juggle some contracts. So who am I bringing to do with that? I'm bringing conviction. I kind of need conviction. Do I? Do I die? I don't need Conviction, because if I activate Moose's skill early, he'll debuff Moose, and then Murr will activate her skill, and the other guy will debuff Murr. So we could theoretically bring... the Denko, if I switch my contracts. Or I could... no, Ethan... I could bring Ethan as well, with like, skill 2, I guess, but that wouldn't be as much damage, or would it? Attack plus 70. I mean, let me let me switch the contracts and then I'll have a look, see. Sorry, not you, Conviction, please. Conviction's what I want to get rid of. Um, so let's have a look at this. This does 80% arts damage. Open up calculator. So, I don't actually know how much that is. I don't know how to calculate that. But this does 742 plus 70%. I must have done something wrong there. Seventy percent. No, that's not how you do it. Uh, uh, 
plus 70. Okay, you know what? I'm going to open it on the Google's calculator because that tells me actually what to do. That actually gives me the calculations that I want. Um, so 742 plus 7 percent. Go. That's 1200 attack. Which is more damage than what you're doing. So I should bring Ethan instead. Away. And what's skill one again? It's um extra 100 arts damage for seconds. So it, does that mean like one tick a second? I guess 100 arts damage every tick. That's flat damage, which I don't really. I mean, it's fine, but it's better to have this skill too. Um, so that will give me time. And lots of it. Um, so I can put Utage and Ethan down for damage. Then I can have maybe a. S I'm trying to figure out who else I'd want. How tanky is Arene? 220 HP with 340 defense. And Cutter is slightly less tanky. So theoretically I could start the left lane start the right lane with uh, but then I have no arts damage on left lane if I do that. Or I don't have enough rather. I do have to start it with Estelle on left lane, yeah. trying to figure out a way that I can have a rein up sooner. I guess there's not really a way. I guess I have to rely on Ethan. Alright, let's try it. Beans. Up you go, Myrtle. Lord knows we'll need you. There you go. Now we've got to deal with these crabs, so let's bring out Pint Cone. Should be able to do one more beanstalk skill. There it is, retreat. Not miss. It looks like Moose will die, but she won't. Wait for the second shot because I was missed my timing. There we go. Okay. Let's be greedy and try and get another Myrtle skill activation. There it is. Okay, I can treat you and put a rain down now. Activate your skill to get the debuff on you. There you go, there you go. Okay, once this guy stops moving, we'll activate... Um... Most of skill, about now, I suppose. And let's also put Cutter down. 
So yeah, that'll debuff you, which is what I want. And activate you. Then once this guy leaves, we'll put down Sosido. There you go. Okay, so they're dealing with that. Okay, the debuff should end shortly. Um, so yeah, the first debuff should just go straight back onto Moose. That, that's what you like to see. I can retreat Ma, I can retreat you, and I can retreat you, and I can activate this. Okay. Next, I need to put down you and your little scrub. Almost forgot to do that. Okay, let's leave you out for a bit. Okay, activate this. Activate this. Put. Um, I want to put Ethan down, but not there. I probably want him here. This. Okay, retreat. Don't forget to activate this. Okay, up goes Itage. Ah, uh, yeah, the problem here is that Ethan is going to get slapped. I'll, I'll, I'll have to... I'll have to see if Ethan dies in one hit or not. Wait, he does not die in one hit, so for the second hit I just need to retreat. Okay. Okay, retreat. Activate this. We're still here. Activate this. Okay, wait for both of these to be in range. One, two. Okay, retreat you. Activate this. Put a ring down. Okay. Once Ethan's skill ends, I'll probably retreat him. Actually, I'll probably retreat him now. Grab on top. So she'll take the full brunt. Then I can put Moose down instead. I messed up. And even if I hadn't have messed up, wasn't enough damage because now this guy comes out. back from that. Yep. I was expecting that to happen. Hmm, so that's close. That's Quite close. If I could just do a little bit more damage, or if the enemies had just a little bit less health. What's this do? Okay, I can't take that. Maybe if I... Juggle something a bit. Probably juggle a contract and maybe make that a bit easier. I could take off the 30% health and then take the negative 15 attack. Wait, this is 30 
percent max HP, and this is negative 50% attack. So I think the attack down is better. Or I could put up. I probably don't want that because that'll just that's just going to get me killed. Is there anything else I could raise? I don't think so. So I think taking the negative 15% attack would be better because it's a smaller number than 30. I don't know if that's how things work, but we're going to try it with that in mind. Hopefully that's how maths works. I can't tell if this is going better or not. I guess I'll find out. I think it's going better actually. I actually don't know if there's any difference here. It might just be the exact same. Or it might be worse. I guess it depends on an enemy to enemy basis. Well, let's, we're about to find out, I guess. I feel like this is worse. Maybe it just depends on what enemy I'm fighting? I feel like these guys are dying faster, so I guess it's working. Yeah, they're definitely dying faster. So that's working there. Debuff on you. Retreat, retreat. Um, was there anything else I needed to do yet? No. Wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit. I should get one more pinecone off. There you go. Activate this. There's the attack down. Then activate this to keep them both healed. Uh, put cutter up. Left to put Susuru down. Okay, what do I do here? Right, I need to activate a ring. So the first debuff should go back onto Moose. Like that. Yep. Then once these enemies die. Activate Susuro and put Beanstalk down. That. Let's also put Myrtle down. Play the debuff one onto Susuro like I wanted. Okay. Pause. Um, so I need to put Utagi down like that, and Ethan down. I guess I want to put Ethan here. I want to put him first. Because I want his skill to come up. Okay, when this thing's about to die... 
do that. Okay, then this caster will die. Treat the beanstalk. Get ready to put Utagi down. So Utage can survive one hit, and Ethan can survive one hit. I just want to figure out if it's better to put Utage here, and Ethan here, oh, yeah, and um, then activate Ethan's skill when he comes into Utage's range. Or if it's better to put Utage just in front. I think it's better to just... Hmm. What I could do is, when he comes in... I could put a target here, and when he comes in range I put Gravel down to push him back out. That way he's in Utagi's range and Ethan's range and he's getting snared and he's also delayed. That means Gravel will come back up in time and I can use Gravel again. Okay. So... Wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit. Okay, he's starting to walk. See this. Oh, I see that won't work. But he is in range, so he is taking a lot of damage. Get his Asutage. Okay, treat Utage and put in Moose instead. Please die. Thank you. Okay, now we put you here. Now we just have to deal with this guy and I think that guy. Treat you. Put a ring down. It might not be wise to put a ring down. Let's just leave. Let's just let Cutter do her work. If I need to put down someone, I will put down um, Mer. But let's just let Cutter do it. Okay. When's, when's the explosion? As soon as it explodes, I'm putting down Mer. Okay, heal you back up to full. Then retreat Mer. That way, if I need her again, she may or may not come back up in time. Okay, it looks like this is a win. And there you have it. That's how you do Risk 18 with only 4 star units. <sighs> Let's add that to the screenshot collection. I just want to sit on this screen for a little while and just look at it, because it's really nice. Ah, isn't this nice? I'm gonna have a sip of my water. Ah. Gonna upload that to Twitter. I'll make sure I'm doing my tweets.
Yay. Only four star units. Exclamation point. Glad I was able to get this out week one. Exclamation point. Some fine tuning, but I managed to figure it out. Exclamation point. Going to start on today's daily now. So you three to stop by. Exclamation point. And I need to get a link to the stream. out of Twitch. to put in some W's. That should work. Very good. Okay, let's go. Let's get on today's daily. I'll be very excited to have some fun with this map. Hey, there's my beautiful badge, my beautiful baby badge. Give me my challenge missions. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, you know what? There's some challenges that we have to do. I will get around to them later. Let's worry about the daily mission first. Oh, this is probably fine. This is the team that I used to risk 18, or maybe I used it to do some challenges in a, when it was the permanent map. So let's just use it again. I'm sure it'll work without any contracts. Let's see if I can remember what I'm supposed to do on this level. Oh god, I do not remember what I'm supposed to be doing on this level. There was a time where I remembered. That time is no longer. I caught a go. I don't even have a reen. I was pretty sure I used a reen on this map, but I guess not. I didn't go... I don't know if that's right, but you can go there. I had a healer. Here, I think. There's Mudrock Colossi. And I had another healer. I put the healer down last. No, I put the healer down, healer down first. Then Shidaiki goes up. No idea if this is right. Let's put Haze here for fun, and click. Maybe I should have done that the other way around. Well, whatever. I probably don't need to worry about it too much, considering this is just... Um, 
No risk. I'll just put Ethan... probably not... I probably want to put him like here or something. I guess I'll put him here. Okay, the knife throwers are throwing knives. As they all want to do. I do love the music for this level. Okay, the gates have been opened. Just use click on this dude. Buy us some time. Do some damage. Probably don't need to worry about it too much. Worst case scenario, we leak a couple cores. Okay, let's stop him right there. See if we can stop him from breaking this rock. Might not be able to. There we did. Okay, nice. Nicely done. I'm gonna use Shidaki's skill here. No particular reason to, I just felt like it. And I can do a lot of things that I just feel like doing. Because this is no risk. There's no risk to this. So it doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. Okay, just chuck this on ya. Chuck this on ya. Oh, she's going up this way because I didn't break- I didn't let him break the rock. That's funny. Right, here comes Bob. Well, that was easy, but that was obviously no risk. Hopefully the, the, um, what are they called? The contracts? Hopefully the contracts aren't too hard. And if they are, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Probably should have muted there. Let's check on these. Move speed, defense, down. HPC is down. Should be alright. May as well bring our actual characters. Green, my boy. And I guess we'll bring Otage. Just in case we need some extra arts. I don't remember what I'm doing on this level. Maybe I'll put the anchor here this this time. See see what that gets me. I'll put a rain like here. No, actually, I put her in like here. And I put Susuru like not there, but I put him put her here. So 
Then I'll put haze like so. And Gavial like so. Ethan, like so. Shiraiki, like so. I want to use that. I do want to use this though. Are you in range? I think you are. Maybe we'll just activate all our skills. Try and see if we can kill him before he touches that. I guess we'll put click down as well. Where's the harm? Stop breaking those rocks. Please? Ah, nicely done. Right before you broke it. Mud rock should go up and around since those golems are dying before breaking anything. Which means I can put Utagi like here facing to the right and screw her up. How many golems are there? There's only two, I think. Today's map viable? I don't know yet. I haven't unlocked all the contracts. We did risk 18 though, uh, just earlier. Glad I got weak run risk 18 out of the way. Let's use this now. So now I can just focus on the daily map and I don't have to worry about getting it done. This map should be doable on max max risk. Like, I did, I did um, when it was the permanent map, I did risk 18, so I'm sure it can't be harder than that. Okay, I can retreat her in now. I could I could have left him up to deal damage to her when she's here, but. I didn't think about that until after I retreated her. I guess I should use this. And use this. Oh, I probably should not have used that. Go, please. Ah, damn it. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. It's forward. That was just me unlocking the contracts, or not all of them, but as many as I could unlock.
is the oh they're all gone um that's okay i'll just do this this uh not this 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 uh this 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 wait i'm missing something no this and then that no this i don't was it this i think yeah no it was this it was this these are the contracts i used for risk 18. pretty standard initially i was using this um because instead of the attack down instead of this because um i didn't want to use this because this made them too tanky or it made the first one too tanky and i couldn't kill him in time so i used this but this also made him too tanky so i used the attack down instead and this is the team i used so we had pinecone holding down crab lane for the entire time by itself um, and then at the start we had Estelle on the right lane, we have Moose and Doreen on the left lane, and we used like Estelle's skill to get debuffed, then retreated her to let the dude past, then put down Cutter, and then when the other dude came I retreated these two, and just put down Ethan and Utage to deal with the knight. Um, but yeah. That'll be going up on the YouTube as well, so if you are interested in watching exactly how I did it, it'll be there by the end of tonight before I go to bed. Oh, I remember this map now. I remember not liking this. I know, I do, I do, I do love this map, but I don't like this, uh, can't place units down thing. That was annoying. Um, I guess we'll just do this. Same way. What are, what are even the contracts? I was not paying attention to what the contracts were. Whatever it is, it's probably fine. I want to put like Ethan like here, but I might put him here. Probably not though. Okay, click goes here. And then I want to put Irene here. You need a healer, so let's get let's get Gobi Yal down. Maybe I should have put Haze here instead of Click. Ah, well, let's put Haze here. Let's put a healer down first, actually. Healer. Maybe Haze first. Yeah, okay, let's do Haze first. Haze first. Then healer. Then I want Shiraiki last. That's not what I wanted to do. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to let this guy go through. It's probably viable to put a target here when this guy breaks the second rock. Actually, I need to let him break all three rocks. I need him to break all three rocks. Otherwise, mud rock will go a different way, and I don't want it to go that way. Also, I need to put Ethan down. Okay, use some skills on that. Okay, nice. 
Now the map's nice and open. Okay, here comes golem number two. Should be another simple kill. Save click for mud rock. And Bob, I guess. Okay, here he comes. So we get haze going. Should I keep going? Let him go, go. Okay, now comes Mudrock, so we do this. Mudrock is not in range of Arene yet, so I'll wait. Okay, Mudrock, come on. Okay, Arene, quick, go. Break that shield, please. There you have it, Mudrock dies. Now you just have to deal with Bob. Shiraiki died and so did someone else. I could have activated Susuro's skill and they would have been fine. Ah, uh, but I didn't really care enough to do it. So it doesn't matter. I've already won. I'll probably have to do that in max risk. Oh yeah, this map isn't that hard. The only reason I didn't do Risk 1 Week 18 on this map is because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um, enemies gain 80 attack, Big Bob and Mudrock are stronger. Yeah, that's fine. That's basically the same as what was happening last time. Should just be able to run through this. Um, actually, this might be a bit of a struggle. Because those knife thrower the knife throwers are going to kind of hurt a lot. Um, I'm not too worried though. I can I I'll just need to put gravel down to absorb some shots, I suppose. Okay. Let's make sure to put down our other units first before we put down Water, since I want her to be the one taking damage and I don't want other units to be shot down. Okay, Javiel comes up. Then let's get Haze first. Then Susuro. And then Shiraiki. It's important to do it in that order because if you do Shiraiki first, Susuro will die to the knife throwers. There's no reason to put Haze down first though, other than I feel like it. Go quarter. Utagi is just basically a just as just like a just in case. I need more damage. I can just pull her out and do a bunch of damage. Utage saved my ass in a uh, risk 18. Because Utage was did like almost the entire health bar of the uh the first night. The only reason she didn't kill the first knight by herself is with Ethan's help is because um because her skill ran out. Yeah, see these knife throws hurt a lot, but Shiraiki is tankier than Sosuro. So Shiraiki can live. And then he'll attack uh quarter. 
that's what you need to worry about. Okay, wait for you to come in range, and go, go, go. It's sad that she does spend skills on those guys, I mean, she spends some attacks on those guys when I don't want her to, but it is what it is. Okay, get some Shidaiki going, get some Marine going. Okay, Shidaiki will live because we're attacking there. Okay, Golem's dead. Now we... Th I want to throw this on the big guy, so do that. Yep. Probably don't need to do anything here. Yeah, they'll deal with that by themselves. Should I? He should live here. If a second knife thrower comes out, I'll need to activate so sort of skill there. Yeah, yep, there you go. That's what you like to see. Okay, let's use. Adenko's skill here to delay him, because it's better if he arrives at this place at the same time as Mudrock. Because that way I can just group them together for the AoE, and I don't have to worry about my uh, skill activation timing as much. Okay, Adenko. Okay, this guy's coming in hot. Not a big problem. I need to wait for Mudrock to enter that. Still need to wait for Mudrock to enter that. Let's use this, and this, and probably want to activate this about now. Okay, you're out of range. About now, activate click, put down Tage. I want to put down Tage, but I need to wait for this guy to actually leave. Okay, now I can put Utage down here. And activate Quarter Shield. died in one hit, even with her shield up. That is a fun little thing that's happening right now. That's where I'm at right now. Did not do nearly enough damage to a Mudrock. In fact, she's still immensely alive. Incredibly alive. I suppose in that case, I need to save everything for the, basically the moment she gets on me. So I, I definitely had some damage split up between different targets. Maybe it's because they have so much res? Yeah, I think the problem is that they have 45 res, and that I'm just not doing any arts damage. So I need to bring physical damage. Because that res is nothing to laugh at. So, we'll take skill 1 on Arin. Um, quarter, as usual, can come. We probably want Pined... Do we want Pinecone? I don't think we want Pinecone. Yeah, we don't. There's no way to put her. I guess I could put her here. That's kind of. I kind of don't really want Pinecone for this one. I want May skill two instead of click. There you go. Um, who else do I need? I want Ethan still, because the snare is good. 
Um, gravel I still want. Metal I still want. Rodenko I still want for the slow and arts damage on the golems. Ah, that's, that is the problem, isn't it? Arts damage for the golems. Where do I get that from? Because they are tanky. Um, Jaiki's still fine because she does a lot of damage and she's got the range for it. Uh, acid drop, unfortunately, isn't really going to work for me. I guess media for the defense down. What elements am I missing? Alright, I had Utage last time. Probably don't need Utage this time. Actually, instead of Quarter, I think I'll take Bubble. Actually, I think I'll still take Quarter, but I'll also take Bubble on top. Bubble, Bubble, Boil in Trouble. So what's this team looking like? Arene in the usual spot. Bubble in the usual spot. Shidaiki. Oh, I need Susuro and Gavial. That's what I'm missing. Let's give this a go. Physical damage. Let's see if this works any better than the arts damage worked. And 45 doesn't sound like a big number, but that much res is definitely nothing to laugh at. Nothing to sneeze at. That's the right spot to put media. That's where I'm putting her though. I might move her back over here or something. Okay, I need to make sure I do as much damage to these dudes as possible. So, we're just waiting for this thing to die. Pretty much. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's gonna be a valid strategy. Okay. You can definitely slow those golems, but I wonder if I'm really getting anything much past that. Okay, let's use this. Just get some damage down. Might be better to take Vermeil or something here. for this. Okay, get ready and get ready. Not yet. Okay, let's use it now. See how much damage we can get done on this dude. Pretty good. I can't actually tell how, if that's pretty good damage or not because I can't actually see. Oh yeah, that's pretty good damage. That's decent damage. And it died without even being able to hit. Alright, so physical damage is working. Just fine. Who are you attacking? Okay, good. Ah, okay. So that's how you're playing it. That's interesting. Did not know those. Go oh, okay. 
We're just one-shotting us now, apparently. Okay. I guess I need to activate Bubble's skill there. Or Ethan's skill. Actually, yeah, let's activate Ethan's skill. So in that case, I need Ethan's skill to snare them and do more damage. Because I have negative 30 defense, and they hoit. I genuinely thought I would just be doing this in one try. But I guess three, third time's the charm. It may be worth taking skill one on Ethan, but I don't really want to. Actually, no, it's not worth. Actually, it kind of is worth, because it's 100 flat damage. Well, it's, I mean, it's arts damage. It's 100 arts damage. But I guess they have 45 res, so maybe it's not actually that much damage at all. I feel like I want media like here, but at the same time I don't. There's not really much better places to put. Actually, I could put media here and then have Padenko here. But that also raises its own problems because then I can only use her to slow down when they're here. So yeah, we'll just keep media where she is. If I need to rearrange, I will, but for now, we'll just make do with what we have. I guess I'll leave Myrtle out there. There's no real reason to get rid of her. Okay, take some damage. That's not where I wanted to shoot that. Oh well. Bubble struggles here. Bubble actually is like having a bad, bad time against all these enemies. I mean, it's probably fine because I, I just need to know when to use her skill or when to use Ethan's skill or whatever. And Media does some clean work on her own. Defense down isn't much of a joke. Okay, I want to activate Shidaiki a bit early here. Just to make sure this wave dies. That way she can help out on this other side. Let's get a Rin going and you going. Ethan down as well. This going as well. Is this gonna one-shot me? It will. It will one-shot me. Maybe I should have waited for the thing to leave before putting down another character, but Mei has the stuns, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, I need to activate Padenko's skill on this dude, or he will one-shot me. Now I need to activate Ethan's here. Okay, wait for this guy to come in range of Shidaiki, go! This guy hurts a lot. I cannot out heal him. Maybe if I had Susudo using her skill, I could out heal him, but. Okay, get as much damage in on this golem as I can. Okay, retreat quarter and put Bubble back down since I need her skill. Need to make sure to activate Padenko on this dude. 
might actually activate Shiraiki as well. Okay, hopefully all those skills come back. Parenko's will come back up in time. I think Shiraiki's will as well, though, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's activate this now, because Arts Damage on the Golem is what I need. Okay, wait for this guy to die, and then... Get ready to use Padenko, because I need Arts, arts Damage. Okay. Maze active, Arena's active, go! Shidaiku will come up soon. There it is. Renkos will also come up soon. There it is. Let's use sh this as well. Okay, activate bubble. She instantly died. Instantly died. Instantly died. Instantly died. They okay, retreat you. Come on, May. Thank you. Instantly died. Instantly died. Somebody died. Are you still attacking? You are not. Retreat you. Retreat you. Retreat you. And retreat you. And I didn't even get them to add half health. So, so, um, um, I wish there was a way you could like click on the enemy and, and like see like what route he takes would be nice. So what I could do is when Bob, Bobby, as I like to call him, he's my good mate, when Bobby comes out I could put down maybe quarter up here, or like somewhere up here, and stall him, because um, I'm pretty sure quarter will live as long as her skill is active since he's not buffed. Then I need to have everyone dealing damage here to Mudrock. That way our damage is not split up, because Mei was attacking Bob for a while. Attack Mudrock with everyone. Um, hopefully kill her. I just need to see what other characters I have. See if there's any, like... special super hyper ultra damage character that I've just not thought of yet. I could just use nah I need I need Padenko for the golems. Um deep colour won't really help.
I've yet to find a single use for deep color, which is very sad. Um, I, w I really want to use pine cone, but there's not really many places I could put her. I could put her here, facing down. But then I'd have to put May one step behind, and then one step behind there. I guess that would work. I guess. I guess that would work. Put a ring here, quarter here, bubble here, whatever. Bubble here, no, bubble here, quarter here, then um, when Mudrock is arriving, I'll retreat quarter once the extras have been dealt with because I'll have Shidaiki and Padenko slowing them while the others deal their damage. also put Shidaiki up here, but that's a bad idea. Alright, let's try it that way. What am I getting rid of? Meteor. Or Pine Cone. So Bubble will be on the Bob Brigade. Bubble will be dealing with Bob. Okay, Perdenko, go. Let's get Pinecone next, because I feel like it. Go. Then, May, after you go. And um, I want Shishiro, Shishiro, and then Shudayuki. Now to activate. I can actually put Ethan here, and I will be better served if I do. Just a hard question. Because I need to ask myself whether um, people are going to die from the knife throwers or not. Um, if I'm putting Ethan, I'd put him like this. I guess we'll try Ethan first. I might not even need quarter, honestly. Okay, we'll treat you, put a ring down here. I use that because she's going to hit him, which I don't want to do. Okay, now I can use that. Okay, this should be fine. Might need to use. Uh, Ethan's skill for these dudes. I will use Arenes. Can I please get gravel? Can I please get gravel? Can I please have gravel? Oh, I can't actually deploy there. Okay. I was like, why isn't gravel placing? It's because she cannot deploy there. Okay. That's completely fine. Still, I'm surprised that guy lived um, despite all three pinecone shots hitting home. 
with the shield down. I guess he just has a lot of uh, defense or something. I'll just put Myrtle up here so she doesn't get in the way anymore. Okay, let's put Renko down, then May down, then Gavial down, and Areen down, uh, then Ethan down. Let's hold on to that. Green, I mean, not Green, Ethan go. Next, I want Bind Kern. Whenever this. Actually, I want. I want Shirai Yuki first, I think. So, Shirai Yuki up first. Then, I want Bind Kern. Ethan's skill to hold him there and do damage. Nine pint cone go. Okay, good. He actually died. Thank God. I was worried. Okay, retreat you and put quarter down now. Slice and this. Reset her attack speed. So she actually hits the thing I need her to hit. Ethan's skill should come up in time by the time I need it. Okay, let's wait for this guy to get a bit closer. Actually, let's use this now. That oh, way it'll come back up in time to deal with uh, this dude. That should everyone else's. Okay, here comes trouble. If I activate quarter skill, she should live though. If I have to activate it, which I don't have to, because this thing will die before he hits me. Yep, there he goes. Okay, let's use your skill for this dude. Do I need to use this? I will. Whether I needed to or not, it's the right option. Okay, good stuff. I should probably... I'm just going to use this. It's bonus damage. I will save Shidaikis for the big man though. But maybe I shouldn't. No, I will. No, I won't. Yeah, we'll be fine without Shidaikis for the big man. I will use Spedenko's though. Go. Some nice damage coming out there. Okay, and die. Okay, here comes Mudrock. So I will treat you and put Bubble down. Operating under the assumption that Bubble will be able to block Bob there. Okay, let's get this going and wait for it. Mm, 
now we'll get this going, and we'll get this going. We can use this as well to deal damage to the golem. But I think I want to save it. Okay, here comes Bob. Bob does not get blocked by Bubble. Which kind of throws my whole plan into the fire. Wow, even with... Even with Susudo active, he still died. Yeah, okay. Can't kill them. Or maybe I could kill one, but not the other. I should be able to kill Bob, but I don't think I can kill Mudrock. I think Mudrock is too strong. If I focus on arts damage, I'll be able to kill Bob. And let Mudrock go. But it means that I'd have to take this off. Well, let's switch back to Arts Damage, because I can't kill them. HP plus uh, Mudrock has a shield, plus they both one-shot any unit. Bob will not one-shot Bubble or Quarter as long as they have their shield up. But, I mean, if they don't have their shield up, they just die. So we will just have to let Mudrock pass. As unfortunate as that is. Let's get Pedenko. Oh, where do I want even where do I even want Pedenko? I guess here. I want Pedenko here. Nope, I'm pausing. I need to think. So ideally I'm gonna stop Bob here. Is that ideal though? I guess it is, because I'll be stopping Bob and all of everyone here, which means everyone will have to go around because the golems will die. So it becomes a matter of where do I want to put my units, because I want them all clanged up in this area. I think probably Padenko like here, so she hits all of these parts. Or here. So she has all of these parts. And then Shidaiki would be here. Whoever goes here does not need healing. Whoever goes there will not need healing. So Padenko, Shidaiki want to go there. Probably Hayes wants to go here. Click wants to go here, facing that way. And I want a healer here. Healing this. I probably want to heal her up here, healing that. And I want Ethan maybe in the middle here, and Irene like back here. So let's start with Padenko. I want Padenko here. I want Ethan. Actually, with Shiraiki, I might want Shiraiki up here. I do, because if I don't put her up there, whatever healer I put here will die. So I need to have her there. Which means I can just put down Haze and click here, and that'll be fine. I've already lost. 
um, because I put Shiraiki down first when I needed to put the healer down first. Let's actually... No, let's leave Lost Land of Defense off for now. If it turns out that I can kill Mudrock, I'll put it back on. But for now, let's just go in with the assumption that we're letting Mudrock go. You are not Myrtle. Question is, do I want Shiraiki up here or over here? I think here is better because it's more damage. And I can have Sosuro here. Wait, I need to see. I need to see. So you're here. You're here. What is the range on Sosuro's heal? Okay, so I do need Sosuro here. Just gonna use this straight away. It's easier. I don't have to think about it. And Shiki up here. Okay. Let's get Ethan in as well. And I want Irene as well. And I want my casters. She should probably activate this. Ah, whatever, she's gonna attack someone else now. No matter. So I want to click here. And A is next to her. And I just want bubble in the uh, correct spot. Oh, we just retreat so I can get bubble up. Let's use Padenko on this guy and Arena as well. Because otherwise he won't die. Okay, click, go. Okay, gravel to stop this guy. Let Padenko deal with it. Hey, go. Realistically, I could just put down quarter there, but I kind of want to save quarter. If I have to put a quarter down there, I will. Okay, one drone dead. I mean, one not drone, one uh, colossi dead. Okay, now I can use Shidaiki's skill on this dude, as well as Padenko's. Could just put down another healer. I don't know how long I'll leave her there. I might get rid of her right very soon. But well, for now, let's leave her up. I'm actually going to get rid of her right now. Oops. Okay, use a rain skill on this dude. Okay, when this guy's about to attack again, I will retreat quarter like that, and then use a good skill. This next guy I'm going to stop right here with Gravel, so that he can't get into this situation. I'm going to wait until he's in range of Pedenko though. Okay, wait, wait, wait. As soon as Pedenko starts moving, there you go. There you go. That'll maximize the damage on him. Plus, Susudo gets to heal. Okay, nice. That was good. Shiki go. Pedenko go. Someone has died, Gravel, that's okay. That's within expectations. Okay. We're gonna do the same with this dude. I am actually. No, I'm not gonna put Gravel down. Graviel down. Okay, just stop him there. Padenko, go. but it's not a big deal because Padenko will finish him off before he does anything weird. 
I might need to activate Arena's skill, actually, because th this guy's annoying. Um, that should be fine. Okay, let's put down Gabriel again to make sure that Susuro is being healed. Okay, good. Now I can get rid of her. And we need to wait for Bedenko to start attacking this dude. And place. Okay, here comes the Colossi. So Hayes goes up, and Ethan goes up. Leviel dies, which is acceptable. Click goes up. I shouldn't need to use anything here, so I'm going to wait for them to die. Okay, now I'll need to wait for him to come into Bedenko's range before I kill him. Actually, I don't. I'm not going to use Bedenko's skill on him. I will use Arin's skill now when it comes up to deal with this dude. Wait for Pedenko to attack. Okay, in you go, and use her skill. If me saying what I'm doing is annoying, I'm sorry, but it's for my benefit, because otherwise I'm not going to realize what I'm doing. Okay, here comes Bob. Let's start the damage. What little damage I get. Do I want to try and just block Mudrock? Nah, I'm just going to let her walk through. I don't think there's any reason for me to put anything in her way. Okay, Haze is up. Let's start doing damage with Haze, and as well as Ethan, and as well as Click. Okay, let's put Gavial down to make sure that Susuro doesn't die. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, let's activate this. I need to get ready for him to start attacking me. Gravel down here. Okay, Susuro's died. Ah, oh, damn it. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now I have no healer. Okay, Quarters died. Okay, retreat to you. Arena's gonna die here. Gravel, I need to retreat. I don't know why she's still up. Ethan can retreat. Okay, Shiraiki can retreat. Flix died, but she wasn't really doing anything anyway. Okay, let's wait for a bit and push him back a bit. Almost had him. Almost had him. I just got a bit unlucky with Susuro dying. I guess I needed to leave Gavial down to continue healing. Yeah, I think it's doable. I think I need to move my units around a bit to do it, but it should be doable. Like, if I put Haze here, if I put Haze here, it's winnable, because Haze... Wait, can I even put anyone there? I don't know, let's walk in. Let's, let's see if it, um... See if it does it. I just need to figure out where, to, where, where I want to put my other stuff. Oh, so I can't actually put Haze here. I'm sorry, did you go Bee Hunter? Evade Bob? Don't tempt me. Um, that actually sounds like it could work. 
Um, so let me think about where I want to put my units. Yeah, it's a 60% evade. I could also do Jackie, and skill 2 is 70% evade. Plus a passive evade. Um, but that lot doesn't last for as long, since the 60% is permanent. Uh, if I just redo where my units are, I should be fine. So Click needs to go here, not Haze. Or maybe... Yeah, Click needs to go here rather than Haze. Ethan is fine. Ethan needs to go here. Facing right. Haze here. Podenko. Podenko. Podenko here still, yes. Shiraiki still goes here. So sort of still goes here. Um, LVL still goes here. Irene still goes here. I could move Bubble and Irene forward. I'm not sure, but then I wouldn't have Arene's damage on the enemies here, so I, which I kind of need. But then again, maybe I don't need it. I feel like I do though, so I, I'll just leave him there. Okay, you are not the character I want. Okay, there we go. Yes, I, I, I also... Actually, yeah, I want Bubble here, because... Um, when Bob gets here, I want to put Gravel and stall him for as long as possible. Okay, so sort of up. And I want to rein up. Then I want click. And Ethan and Shiraiki. Do I want him here? Yeah, I want him here. Should also be stalling those golems with gravel as well. One, twenty two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Up you go. Next, let's get Haze up. And then... Do this. we we'll do plenty of damage. And same strat as usual for this. Go. This guy should die though. I mean, if he doesn't, I'm just gonna put quarter down. He should die, realistically. Yep, there he goes. Okay, let's get Gabriel down here. Actually, I need. I needed Gravel to deal with this guy. It's kinda hard to manage my deployment. Should be fine. Gravel on this guy, and we'll rely on Pedenko's damage for it. Okay. Not particularly worried. But I might need to start being worried. Nope, I've got. I can just cycle with Gravel. Okay, activate Irene to deal with this dude. This is becoming a problem. Or well, because I messed up that first one. Okay, Myrtle will come up soon. I don't think she'll come up soon enough. Yeah, I think I messed up. Yep, 
I messed up. That's my fault. I should have been paying more attention. I completely forgot that I needed to put gravel down. Let's -a go. Now let's get Shiraiki. This time we'll have we should have the damage to deal with those little ugly fellas as they run through. Quick first, then Ethan. Up you go. Then Hayes goes. Okay, now I just need bubble. Skill should come up in time. And Shidaiki's getting some good damage in there as well, which is lovely to see. And here comes the Pedenko damage on top of that. And there you go, one golem dead. One dead golem. Okay, now I need to get ready to put down Gravel. There you go. Dies as expected. I like to use this. Okay, no worries. Just put water down here. Save uh, Padenko's skill. yourself okay that's okay put down coffee um that's not okay let's put down here yeah okay that's not okay I don't know how this is different from last time why I keep losing I don't know how the first time it worked so well and now it's just dying, not really sure. I guess it's because, oh, hmm, I guess I know why. I guess I need to put Shiraiki and then Areen. Okay, I get it now. I need to put Areen after Shiraiki because of the way priority works. Because that way, um, 
He like attacks Susudo, attacks Susudo, and then attack a ring, and then. Or I need to put a ring down. He's put a ring down after Susudo. Which I'm pretty sure is what I was doing anyway. Was I putting him first? I think I put a ring down first. So let's put Susudo down first this time. Then a ring, then Shiraiki. Well, let's put Pudenko first, obviously. Then Susudo. And Irin. And Shiraiki. And quick. I might not even need, I might just be able to put Susudo here and have her be safe the whole time. Because we're getting one shot by Bob. Like, pretty much no matter what I do, Bob is going to one shot me. Even with my skill up. And Bubble is pretty much just there to delay it. That's pretty much what Bob exists, I mean, what uh, Bubble exists to do. Bubble and quarter buff. But no matter. Go. Okay, this guy's dead. Let's get Shidaiki damage in here and haze damage in here. Okay. Okay, I think that's what I want to happen there. Come on, Rin. Thank you. And this should deal with both of them. Yep. Then we'll have Shiraiki up to deal with the next one. Yep. And then retreat, because I don't want Susuro to be too busy healing Gravel to heal anyone else. Okay, that worked. Renko will be fine dealing with this, yep. Here comes the big man himself. Don't need to use any skills except Potenko on this guy. Because he is not very tanky. Okay. That'll kill just fine. We'll use Shiraiki early. Okay, here he comes. Get ready. Go, go, go. And go, and go. Gravel dies, but so does everyone else here, which is what I want. Then you're in Haze's range, so Haze go. I won't use Pedenko because I'm saving Pedenko for this big guy over here. And up you go.
Yeah, he's mud rock. And here's Bob. Let's start with Shidaiki early. Might be a bit of a waste, but damage is damage. And I'm gonna need a lot of it. Okay, you're in Ethan and Click's range now. So I'll stall you with gravel, even if it's only for a second. The worst part of this is that uh, Berenko is going to be attacking Mudrock in, for the whole time until she leaves. So it can be kind of rough. Okay, stall again. Activate a rain skill. Okay, you're walking too far forward, Bob. Please go back. Do I want to use cool water to stall as well? I'm probably not. Don't need to. Okay. Okay, push him back again. Use this. Put a healer down, because I need it. I don't know how they died up there. Activate and instantly die. Okay, Ethan, go again. Okay, that's fine. Gravel, go again. Push him back. Ludenko, up you go. Hayes, up you go. Who's first? Click or Irene? It looks like Irene's first. Irene, up you go. Click, up you go. Even if Click is not in range, the drone will always be in range, so Bob will always be getting stunned. And there you go. Can't do that on max risk, but one contract off is pretty fairly decent. Still gives me the SS rank, which is what I'm all about. Right, let's... Grab that screeny shot, add that to the collection, and post it on Twitter. Excellent work. Okay. Um, I will save. I will save these challenge missions for another day, as I already spent a lot of time doing Risk 18 today. So after the next daily or something, we'll work on those challenge missions. In the meantime, I get to finish before 1am for once. I get to stop before 1am, which is a nice, nice, pleasant little change. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for bearing witness to my overwhelming victory on this CC, um, and we'll be back tomorrow for uh, tomorrow's daily rotation map. I will have my Risk 18 clear uploaded within like an hour or two, so if you want to watch that, it'll be there. Alright, good night.